Kun Kun. He is a border collie who likes to play with small dogs, laugh and visit new places. Although Kun Kun lived happily in Mexico, he moved to Budapest because he had friends to discover and a great many things to understand. Kun Kun arrived in Budapest, a beautiful city surrounded by the blue Danube. Buenos dias, said Kun Kun. replied the woman. For the first time, Kun Kun heard Hungarian. The grown-ups wondered, does Kun Kun notice that people in Budapest speak a different language? And is speech something special for him at all? To answer this, they designed a brain scanning experiment and invited Kun Kun with 17 of his friends to participate. Some dogs were young, some much older, but each of them heard only one language most of their life. Dogs remained still inside an MR scanner while they listened to speech, excerpts of the little prince in Spanish and Hungarian and to non-speech, scrambled versions of these excerpts. No se ve bien sino con el corazón. Lo esencial es invisible a los ojos. Jól csak a szívében lát az ember, ami igazán lényeges, az a szemnek láthatatlan. And here is what the grown-ups found. First, no matter which language dogs hear, their brain, the primary auditory cortex, can distinguish speech from non-speech. Unlike humans, dogs may not consider speech something special, but may simply detect the naturalness of the sound. Second, Dog brains, the secondary auditory cortex, can distinguish Spanish from Hungarian. And the older the dog, the more so. It seems that the longer a dog lives with its humans, the better that it learns how the language sounds. Kunkun and his friends helped to establish for the very first time that a non-human brain can distinguish two languages. It's still a mystery whether and how the brain changes from tens of thousands of years that dogs have been living with humans have made them better language listeners, but Kun Kun will try and find this out in his next endeavours. Kun Kun lives happily in Budapest. Fortunately, he's not met any snakes, 